Hey everyone, um, I'm calling this video Why Stop There? And basically, it deals with the situation of YouTube's, um, I guess, behavior as of recent. You know, I mean, we all got used to what they did in February with all the changes, whatever. You know, I mean, that's. You know, and it affected a lot of the smaller channels and everything. Uh, you know, people, you know, by now everyone knows it. Everyone's used to it, blah, blah, blah. But also they have went, you know, steps beyond that. And they have shut down channels for what I would deem is, you know, not good reasons. Uh, some of these are channels that I, I just can't see it. I, I just don't understand why they were shut down. They done, you know, they've done nothing wrong. But yet, out of the blue, boom, they were shut down. And you're like, what? You know, they, these were decent channels that, that had decent programming and all that. And, you know, it's just like, whoa. And then you see other channels that just happen to have a different opinion from what we're being told through the news and media. Just because they have a different opinion, they're being shut down or their channels are being flagged or, and taken down and whatever. And, you know... To me, that's not right. I mean, don't get me wrong. I understand YouTube has the right to do that. They own, you know, the company. Google owns YouTube, so they, they can do whatever they want to. But to me, actually, their behavior is no better than a uh, government that controls the media that doesn't allow people to say what they want to say. That It's being censored. Uh, what's the difference between a corporation censoring uh, uh, people's uh, communications or uh, government controlling it? What's the difference? That'd be about about like AT and T controlling what you can and can't say through their uh, cell phones or uh, their internet or whatever. You know what I'm saying? To me, you know, because it's a company that doesn't make it right. You know, even though a company can do what it what it pretty much what it wants but still it doesn't make it right and google and a lot of these other companies that are just a handful handful of companies that most people use let let's be honest most people only use like uh youtube facebook um twitter and a, you know a few others uh to communicate i mean there there's other companies out there but they haven't you know, gotten a hold of the audience and the steam that YouTube and all these other places have. So these companies that own these social media outlets know that they pretty much dominate. And they know that that's how people are going to mostly communicate with each other. And for them to misuse that, I think that's wrong. I, I think that's kind of an injustice. Um even though, like I said, they can do what they want. If they want to censor it, they can. But I don't think that it's right. Um, I, I just, I, in my opinion, I put them in line with these these uh, these governments that do the same thing. You know what I mean? And so, you know, I. I just wanted to say that I wanted to get that off my chest, which I've already made a video kind of talking about that. But I just mm, just irritates me. Um, I just, you know, just because someone believes that they're using crisis actors or they may not believe, you know, that everyone was murdered in a certain thing or whatever. They have a right to believe that that is not bullying. Let's get it real, people. Just because someone has a different opinion then you and they express it and they say it and they put it in a video that does not make them a bully they're just telling their opinion and if you can't handle it don't watch the video that's all i got to tell you you know that that doesn't mean that that person needs to be flagged or you know or reported or whatever why because that's what they believe and they're sharing that with other people and allowing those other people to make their own decisions, that's not misleading. That's just saying, hey, this is what I believe. And other people can then decide, hey, yeah, I agree with that or no, I don't. That's called freedom. That is what we have are supposed to be having in America. and But it doesn't feel that way anymore because we're allowing, allowing corporations to control us. They're taking the place of government. 
pretty much. You know, just like these companies coming on YouTube say, I don't want my ad on this. I don't want my ad on that. Well, then why are you putting your ads on TV shows on TV that have dirty and raunchy stuff all through it? They should be getting X-rated ratings. And your ad is right there playing right along during the commercial break. Or you're on the Super Bowl or some other sporting event uh, shoving your um, social agenda down our throats by using, uh, you know, different types of things that, you know, touch nerves in people. And you're putting your, you know, your product within that and you're shoving that down our throats. You know, who are you to do that? I mean, it's ridiculous. You don't have the right to control everything just because you're a company and you have a product. That doesn't make it right. You're not a government. You shouldn't have an opinion. You have a product, a product that you want sold. Who gives a crap what show or channel your product is on? It's out there. People are, are seeing it. Oh, it just burns me up. The uh, the hypocrisy of these people and these companies. It's, it's ridiculous. But anyway, having said that, this video is basically saying, well, why stop there? Why not make some other changes? And these are just a few changes that I have written down. Um... Well, hey, why don't you bring back video responses, YouTube? Allow people to uh, click on a button that's right above the comment section to where they can give a video response to someone else's video like they used to in the old days. Because I tell you what, that will take the place of this whole suggested thing. I mean, don't get me wrong. I'm not saying take down the suggested video list if you want to make suggestions of other videos like you normally do that you know you think that a person might be interested in fine whatever but to take the heat off of you for um so that you don't be blamed with promoting uh, a person's video let's just say someone suddenly gets a hundred thousand videos because someone clicks on their video response to another video then you're off the hook you, you know, hopefully you wouldn't be held accountable for promoting that video. You see what I'm saying? But at the same time, it would help a lot of these smaller channels to build an audience. Because in my opinion, a lot of channels are being treated unfairly and they're not even making it to the suggested area of YouTube. They're not making it into the up and coming or whatever the heck other um Areas that promote, you know, videos and that help make them popular. Well, they're not getting that opportunity. Well, why not allow them to get their viewership through the video responses? That's how a lot of people built an audience back in the old days. I think it would be a good thing. And that way it's on, you know, that that's between the viewer and the creator. I mean, that, that would be strictly between those two. As far as responsibility for that video getting shown everywhere, and which I know it would take some of the control out of your hands, and maybe you don't like that, but I'm just saying that would be, in my opinion, a good thing and a good option. And that honest that would help a lot of people out, and it would bring more interest back to YouTube because I see with all these other changes. People are kind of slacking off of YouTube. People are kind of losing their drive to make videos. And I can tell things are not the same. Everything seems dry. Whereas if you bring that back, at least that will give some type of communication between people and bring things back and bring back viewership and all that. And make the impossible 4,000 hours of view time possible <laughs> i mean or at least you know from for some people for you know a lot of smaller channels you know that that wouldn't get that opportunity that are probably not going to get that opportunity under this current platform you know if you if you have no exposure 
And even though you might be sharing your videos uh, through other forms, linking them up with YouTube, you know, it's just not working and people are not seeing it. But if you create a dialogue between creators, they can talk to each other through video instead of just writing something down and people reading it and maybe misinterpreting it that way. They can at least see the video response like they used to and they'll get maybe a better a better idea as to what someone is saying. And I just think that it would build it would build YouTube back up, at least, you know, as far as is feeling more open and feeling like, OK, maybe I can give my opinion about stuff. And instead of just feeling like I'm a, a product and I'm just promoting myself for the fact of getting ads on my videos, I can actually express myself and give an opinion and talk to one person. Just, you know, like if someone makes a video and you have an opinion about that, well, you're making a video response. You're talking to that person and maybe other people who have that same view or whatever. So, you know, it just to me, it just it just changes up the vibe. That's how I feel about it. OK, um, and for all these picky companies that don't want their ads placed on just any video out there and that that want to get butt hurt over any time they see that their that their ad has been placed on a video that they just don't agree with what they're saying. And they're just they're just so mad at Google for for allowing that to slip through the cracks and all that crap. Well, why don't you just now let me just say this. Why don't. Um, YouTube or Google use YouTube to have a spot at the bottom of the home page to where these companies can put up their buttons of videos uh, that people can click on to see their ads and that might make it more interesting for those companies, especially if they brought back sweepstakes. Remember when sweepstakes were pretty big, when people could mail in stuff and win stuff and all that? I've noticed that's kind of went over the last few years. It's harder and harder to for people to get involved in sweepstakes and things like that. And, and even at one point when it did hit the Internet back about maybe 10 years ago or so, when it was really kicking in there. Maybe even further back than that, I'd say maybe 12, 13, 14 years ago, when it really went into, when, when sweepstakes really went from being mostly um, uh, mail-in sweepstakes to internet sweepstakes, they started making it harder and harder and you had to jump through hoops and loops and dupes and all that bunch of stuff just to win a toy car, <laughs> you know, or a bag of M&Ms or whatever. Um why not have a space at the bottom of YouTube, at the bottom of the home page, like a whole thing of videos and buttons from these companies to where people can click and, and they could have sweepstakes. And people they can tell people, hey, give a video response of such and such, so and so and so, and um, we'll contact you uh, through YouTube if you win and get your uh, mailing address and all this bunch of stuff and give you your toy car or your brand new car, real car or a uh, house or $25,000 or whatever it is. Have it set up that way. Make it more interesting. Get these companies that are picky that don't want to spend their money on these, on, you know, these YouTubers that they have different ideas from use that money to create contests and and sweepstakes and that way it'd make that more fun and interesting and then they will get their ads seen by more people if you make it interesting and make it uh beneficial to people and people are like yeah i can win twenty five thousand dollars or whatever they'll be more likely to click on your ad and watch your video and you know get them some honey nut cheerios or whatever the heck you know, sing a little jingle and get some Cheerios or, or something like that. <laughs> um, but anyway, but I mean, you see what I'm saying? It can be exciting. It can be fun for them, you know, and then that way it takes them away from, you know, that way Google doesn't completely lose revenue from these companies because, you know, some companies have completely pulled away and because they totally don't agree with, you know, the the 
content creators, they don't trust them, blah, blah, blah. Well, if you allow them to do that, you can bring these companies back, you know, bring their ads back. But it, it you know, it the responsibility is just strictly with all, you know, within the company itself. And it doesn't place it on the creator other than, you know, the creator's response to the company ad. The video response, which needs to be brought back, um, that would be the as far as that would go. And then I think the company would feel better about that. You know, Coca-Cola or whoever would probably feel better about someone just responding to their ad and winning money or whatever than having to spend all their ad money to Google and then have it placed on uh, content creators that they don't like. I mean, I know I'm babbling on, but do you get what I'm saying? Hopefully you do. I'm sorry for babbling. I really am. But sometimes I, I know what I want to say, but it just doesn't, mm, just doesn't zinger out like I want it to. Let's see what else was I going to say. Um, or uh, Google could just sell out to another company that would be willing to do that. You know, if Google is unhappy and they keep having problems and it's just not worth it anymore, well, why not find another company out there that would be willing to take that step and do those changes and make YouTube a more interactive place and not so censored and they, they're okay with that and they can see how they can make money uh, just like I suggested just now, and, or other ways, they can. They're they're smart enough to find other avenues to make money that is less invasive and less restrictive to content creators. Um, yeah, I mean, why not do that? I mean, if if it works better for the community and works better for people. You know, that, that might would be an option if there's a buyer out there. I mean, that's just an idea. And I don't, I don't know, this this video may get flagged for me saying that, but it's just an idea. It's a suggestion. It's a thought, you know. And that's the way I look at it. If a company's tired of fooling with people and, uh, you know, they're having to censor everything that's being done through their uh through the company's avenues, then I say it's time to move on and let somebody else take the wheel and who can make a difference in, uh, and know what it's really about. And it's about communication. It's about free and open communication. That's what YouTube is about. That's what it was about to me. That's what it used to be about. Just saying.